Hello, hello, and welcome to Grown Ass Women TV. Oh, yes, I'm so glad you asked. That is a hashtag. Use that no hashtag way. when discussing the show on social media. Isn't that nice, ladies? It's so no easy. No There's a hashtag? There sure is. <laughs> there sure is. This show. You, you know what? If you're not tuning into this show to get some um, up, upcoming events and news and break, break, breaking news, yeah. shame on you. Shame Go on ahead. you. I'm sorry, Val. Shame. Shame. For shame. For shame. We will be pissed. Right, Lisa? Yes. Can you tell I just had some death wish coffee before our meeting too? Listen. <laughs> I mean, our listen. Show. We love all of our sponsors. And now in 2022, we'll have new sponsors to introduce you to. But Lisa's favorite, death wish coffee. Listen, if ever we needed a time to be alert and awake, it's 2022. Just saying. <laughs> That's, That's why I'm drinking That's coffee. It. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, listen, we are so excited for the new year, for all that's expected in the year, which means a lot of fun, a lot of exciting new goals for GAW TV, a lot of, yes, new fans, hopefully new fans that are joining us here. And just so you know, if you're joining us live, hello to everyone in the chat room. We are here every single Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. for those of us, hello, in the UK. We're always in the GAW TV uh, live YouTube chat room. But if you're watching on replay, do yourself a favor, and if you can make it, Try to join us at 5 p.m. Eastern so you can join the premiere and, and chat with us along the episode. That's so much fun for us. But before you do, uh, before we get into the episode, do us a favor and like this video. Hello, hey. thumbs up. <laughs> Who's got two thumbs? What is it? This gal. This gal. <laughs> These gals, yes. And especially, this is the most important part for those keeping score at home. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel yes make sure that you're a full you know gaw or a gam if you're if you're a male and of course our favorite part click that bell icon back upstairs so i can get my, my little oh rug. yay let me tell you what the bell icon does yes it's fun for us to actually ring the bell but what it does it enables notifications so you never miss a future episode and future shenanigans right here on gaw tv you don't want to miss anything Never do. You never no. do. We've had so many amazing guests and I'm so excited. Happy New Year, ladies. This is officially. Um, I know we have so many goals and so many things that we're going to do. And we're going to talk about all those things coming up, but I'm really excited. And I, I am too. How are you guys feeling? I mean, you know, 2022 sounds insane to me. Like this is like Jetson's era. Like the year 2000 sounded crazy to me, but now it's 2022. It just sounds insane. It does. Where did the time go? I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it. I know. <laughs> well, 2022 is going to be exciting. I made a few uh, resolutions, not nothing too crazy, like little things like, I have to get a little bit deep, but hey, let's, as Jeremy Borash says, let's get deep. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, little things like procrastination and, um, you know, not being a people pleaser, different things. And by the way, anyone that is, is watching the show right now, we'd love to hear your New Year's resolutions in the comments below, right here on YouTube, because we'd love to see what you guys are trying to maybe improve upon in the new year. But ladies, anything that you guys have tried to tr try to work on or like? Yeah. Sorry, we totally skipped your question there, Valentine. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> um. You know, I feel like I've made resolutions every year and I, I somewhat keep up to them, or, but I'm just trying to, like you said, procrastination, even myself, like I go, I'm going all the time, but I do procrastinate. I'm not going to lie. You know, I, on, especially like emails and little things, you know, but that, and just, you know, pushing myself even more. I feel like it's going to be a good year. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I would I would say procrastination. I think that my New Year's resolution I always try to make on Fridays, every single Friday, Monday, I'm going to get on the ball. I'm going to start working through my store, mm -hmm. post all this stuff, get my shipping out on time and all that stuff. And just um, life gets in the way. And I think people think, even though it's COVID, that we're sitting on our butts at home doing nothing, but we still have a family to kind of run. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. just busy, busy, it's tedious. Over. But procrastination, it's, it, it, it's a real thing. Like you said, like, oh, Monday, you know, Monday's the day. I'll enjoy the weekend, blah, blah, blah. And even Why? It's weird because if you guys notice, like we obviously, you guys know watching the show, we don't have certain nine to fives, but yeah. our schedule is very weird. Like I was just having a conversation with somebody recently. We were talking about times that people wake up and I very often had the little, you know, the banter here where it's like, oh, 
Val, you're not up, right? It's 11 a.m. You're probably just getting out of bed. Well, sometimes I am, bro, because sometimes we're filming late at night and that's right. my normal as opposed to someone else's normal might be getting up at, you know, 7 a.m. God bless you. <laughs> that for you. Sounds awful. That's Sounds me. terrible. That's me. Uh, it's terrible. Yeah. And do like a nine to five. But everyone has, I think everyone, you know, as we get more woke, as we get more progressive, I think everyone has to get a little more lenient to understand that everybody has different jobs, different time schedules and all that. So we got to get a little more, can we get, a, can we like have a little more kindness in 2022 personally? Why not? Please, please. Remember Joey Thurman was one of our guests, yes. uh, fitness, a fitness guru. He's like, you know, why do people put it off, put it off, put it off? Today is your new year. So start it today. So I'm kind of feeling when you were talking about that, I go, I remember one of our guests telling us to start today. Well um, said. Yeah. Made me feel good. It's funny because I feel like I've just recently, we're having this conversation now, but I've recently this TikTok reel kept coming up and it's like this Buddha, Buddhist quote or whatever. That's like human's biggest mistake is that they always assume there's tomorrow or right. gotta, you know, Ooh, that's oh, good. well said. Which are, I'm like, oh shit. So they're like always putting stuff off t- for tomorrow, what they should be doing today or, you know, and that kind of, I was like, oh, well, we were getting deep there, but you know, anyway, it happens. It happens. Of doing big things. I'm really excited about our guest today. You ladies, you ladies, that was weird. I'm so you excited. Ladies. You, you ladies, you ladies. Um, I feel like I really got to know him more on this recent media tour that we just did. And I just fell in love with him so much more, but speak, we have a big pay-per-view coming up in just a few days. My championships on the line, freaking, uh, right Texas. there. Yeah. Yeah. The Texas death match. Oh my God. Very exciting. Mickey, no, please don't die. Wait, what? Please, don't die. please don't die. But I want to introduce you guys to my friend, my new friend, uh, Moose, who is also the hey, Impact hey. World. Oh. oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Win. 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 An ultimate gam. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. How are you? I'm doing great. So I have see- that shirt. I almost wore that shirt. <laughs> All right. What shirt do I even have on? I don't... Who'd you ever be? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many shirts. I just literally go in my drawer and pick up something and wear it, not having that, no idea what it says. I love it so much. Where's hey, that shirt from, Lisa? I think it's. Oh, I'm um, getting mine. What was the name of the company? Um, Collar and Elbow, I think. Yes. yes. Lisa's getting her. She wants to match with you, Moose. I want to match with you. I want to match with the champ. I want to match with the champ, you guys. Yes. Oh, put it on. Put it on. Let's see it. Moose, are you on your... Oh, yeah. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite saying. I said it super loud um, at the Russell Cade that we guys were were at. And I said, oh, who'd you ever beat? Or Ricky Steamboat, who'd you ever beat as a joke? And so I goes, we have that shirt. And I go, get out. You said that to Ricky Steamboat? As a joke, <laughs> he's That's funny. Tracy though. Brooks' he, he's... ultimate older man crush. You better be careful. Me too. Mine yeah. too. Mine too. Everyone has <laughs> one. He's so he can, you know, he likes the funnies. I think people are intimidated when you meet him. Yes. So Mickey, Who's so I got the e- I got the email and I was like, of your show, the Car TV, and I was looking at like reading it, and it was like, make sure you have a drink. Champagne or something, but I'm not really a drinker. Of oh, Mickey yeah, knows this. Know. I told him and, about, uh, about that, but we also so I was I like, see. should I make hookah and do it? Then I yes! thought about it, and the last time, no, the last time I did hookah doing a podcast, Scott lost the shit. And he was like, "Are you fucking serious? Why? Why would you smoke hookah while you're doing a professional part?" So I was like, you know what? Maybe that's not a good idea to. I don't Smoke think it has in our, our, our email. Does it say professional? I don't no, think so. I would say, <laughs> Moose, my darling, you are in the the adorable, uh, comfortable nest of truth here. You can do whatever you want. We've had Kia on the show that came up topless. You can wear and be you. We don't care. I think, well, if you want to get your hookah, you can get your hookah. But I, I think, think- you know, I was going to parlay into the story of the thing when we were doing the media tour, we did, we, one night was my pick and one night was his pick. So the first night we did Tex-Mex and the second night we went to this hookah bar, which was actually really great. 
Yeah. Super bar. Super yeah. bar? A hookah bar. It was a, a hookah, hookah bar. Not like, oh, a, yeah, hookah bar, like, not like a, a nightclub, but a restaurant. It was more like a restaurant. Yeah. Running out. Was, but hookah's not like bad. A, it's good no. for you. Yeah. And he, they gave us a pineapple. He got the pineapple gimmick cup. Yep. I hadn't yeah. done a hookah in a long time. That, but that was probably the first time I did it in, I don't know, maybe two years. I bought Nick a hookah. I was telling you, I bought Nick a hookah a couple years yeah. ago. That we went through the hookah phase, you know? And it was it's super fun. It was, but it's fun. It was nice. It's, it's fun. Yeah. 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 Bars, and was like, four little pipes. Yeah. And people don't think about the, it. Can like, you put the camera angle on your hookah? I kind of, I'm curious seeing you make it. Or is it already done? Oh, no. I'm still, trust me, it's a process. I'm still making it. I want to see. Don't, don't this is actually pretty cool because you know what, Moose? My, my first question was going to be, we do this thing where we talk about who are you wearing? What are you drinking? And actually, oh, this hookah thing pipe. is actually a fun experience. And I'm burning the coal that goes on top right now. <laughs> is that what you do, Mickey? That's cool. Very Mickey, cool. do you yeah. do that too? Um, I told you we I bought one for Nick. I think it must have been three years ago because we went through a whole like little hookah phase. And ours is like a Jaeger <laughs> bottle that they turned into. And I think it has two, two or four like things that come out of it. But the top is, but I can't tell you the last time I made one um no they it came already made for us so was the tobacco in the gimmick that was going to be my question Quinn was like they had the aluminum foil on top of the pineapple thing so was the stuff the hookah stuff inside of the aluminum yeah foil? this thing right here is called shisha and I have a bowl a regular bowl but obviously at the restaurant we went to we did it out of a pineapple so, and I've, I've made it out of the pineapple before. It's just a long fucking process because you have to dig out all the stuff in the pineapple. You can save it, you can eat it, whatever. And the pineapple has to be empty for you to pack it with a whole bunch of this. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But I feel like hookah, correct me if I'm wrong, but hookah's like, I'm not a smoker, but hookah's just something like a social thing you do. It's not nearly as much nicotine or tobacco. I have these little things I've gotten um, in my travels that are like, water vapor so they're flavored like banana pie and and you know strawberry ice cream and things like that and there's no nicotine it's just sort of a fun thing to do i find it's just a social thing like they, they i, do I, I don't inhale nicotine. you know i don't, don't know he said you don't that's, that's funny it, though. i messed up because he said you don't inhale it yeah you don't, I know. There, there, there are there are some with nicotine because when i went to new york i went to a hookah bar hookah bar in the bronx and you could just pick the level of nicotine you want so oh I was, yeah, but, didn't know you're not supposed to in inhale, Mickey. They didn't tell me not to inhale. He's the no, I was they, inhaling it, and I'm like, they, they do have. It, it doesn't have as much of a cigarette, obviously, but it has some nicotine in it. But the thing is, it's more dangerous than a cigarette if you think about it, because a cigarette you usually only you generally only smoke one stick for like five minutes and you're done with it, right? Well, a hookah, you sit for an hour straight smoking it. So if you do the calculations or whatever, sitting for an hour smoking a thing of hookah, if you're inhaling it, it's like smoking 30 packs of cigarettes. It's like wow. smoking 30 sticks of cigarettes. I mean. Wow. Oh, you're really going so, Really yeah, going, so you're going not, for it. He's going you're for not it. Supposed to inhale it. Yeah. I didn't realize that because I thought it was something different or whatever. That's really cool. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I will say I enjoyed it when we were at the hookah bar. It's social, yeah. And, it, and honestly, it's it's kind of, um, I, I, I feel silly not knowing where the origins came from hookah. I I'm, I'm assuming the Middle East or it's, it's always in fabulous yeah, it's definitely Turkish Middle bars East. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, um, you Middle know, East. Yeah, or different places like that, which I think is, very, it, the whole experience is very elegant. The entire apparatus is very elegant and sophisticated, I feel like. But Moose, I have to be a fangirl here and ask a question that I feel like all of our fabulous Gaw TV viewers want to know what is a day in the life for Moose in terms of, you know, nutrition, fitness regime? I mean, you're in such incredible, immaculate shape. What's a day in the life for you in terms of food and working out? I'm assuming um, it's just like mine personally. <laughs> okay. Me and Mickey just had this conversation the other day. Um, uh, I live a very boring life. Um me and my wife actually talk about it, how boring my life is. It's like, so I wake up at 6 a.m. every day and I, yeah, it's weird. I wake oh, up at 6. 
I don't know why. It's just my body is just used to waking up that early. It doesn't matter what time I go to sleep. I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. It's so weird. So I wake up at 6. I go to my garage, which is set up like a gym. And I do cardio for 30 to 40 minutes, um, however I'm feeling that day. And then I eat breakfast, which my diet is really, it's not really strict, but it's strict enough. It, um, it used yeah. to be strict when I was, when I was trying to, when I was Love trying to lose all the weight, but now that I'm towards, now that I'm where I kind of like and what I, I, I like the way I look right now, I'm not as strict anymore, but to a regular person, they'll probably consider it strict, but to make to my standards, it's not. You will bring your food, and this is what I was going to say. I remember, one, he brought his food to the media tour. He brought his own food. But two, when we were in Vegas, I remember your food almost got kicked out the refrigerator. Wasn't it? Yeah. 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 And it got back in there somehow. You snuck yeah. it back in there. Just turkey, yeah. and um, turkey and rice. I was like. <laughs> yeah. So I, I always pack turkey and rice sometimes chicken and rice to the shows yeah. and um but yeah i wake up every morning and i eat a nice breakfast usually consists of maybe cream of rice or a bagel or egg whites or a protein shake or whatever it is for that day then i generally go back to sleep which is the funny thing about it i wake up at six do cardio eat and then go back to sleep um then i wake back up at nine and then I go to the gym, go to the gym for a couple of hours, usually two hours, two and a half hours. And I'm home by noon. And from noon to eight o'clock when my wife gets back from work, I literally have nothing to do. So I'm always trying to entertain myself and find things to do and like online shopping or whatever it is. I'm, I'm like losing my mind yeah, how bored I am. Amazon, right? Amazon. I was gonna say, yeah. please tell us where you like to online. Yeah, where, shop what's your guilty pleasures? Shop. Yeah. Oh, well, Amazon. I think I've invested so much money in Amazon and eBay because I spend my afternoons buying useless stuff on those websites or those apps. Uh, yeah, but Amazon, eBay, um, the shoe company called StockX, which I'm a shoe collector. So, um, uh -huh. I'll, let me show you this. I'm so proud of this. Say, can we see your shoe closet? closet. Shoe closet. My shoe cl okay, my, the whole my shoe closet is in my garage. That's how many shoes I have. He's our kind of dude, you guys. <laughs> He's a, he is I'm a gam. Go. He's a gam, a grown ass man. Oh, 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 no my way. God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's like Val's shoe go. closet, but with heels. I'm uh, so proud uh, of you. <laughs> Yeah, I have 180 pairs of shoes and counting. Yeah. Dude, people call that a problem. Oh my people yeah, call a, that it, an accomplishment. <laughs> Cheers to Moose's shoe closet. Wow, it, my friend. It's, it's ridiculous. But the rule is now because, okay, first of all, if Reese finds me buying shoes, she loses her shit, like ah. flips the fuck out. She's a crazy woman. Uh, so what I do now is when I order shoes, I make sure it gets delivered while she's at work. Uh, and once they once they come in, I take them out the box, I break the box up, and I put it in the garbage so she doesn't see it. Because if she sees that I ordered more shoes, she loses her shit. So right, don't tell. I have, a, I have a shoe. Uh, I have a, a welcome mat. <laughs> it says literally the welcome mat when you come to my house says hide packages from my husband. Yeah. Joke, he bought it for me because the Amazon actually, by the way, our Amazon girl's really hot. She's like a little Latin girl that wears like workout clothes and she has like a great ass. Like not that I've noticed, but hey, I here I am. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So she brings me all the all the treats and I'm like, go girl, she's hot. Yeah. Oh so wow. Yeah. I told our neighbor and they keep texting me like we haven't seen her yet. And I'm like, this is getting weird. <laughs> with your with your binoculars outside. This is getting <laughs> hot. Yeah. Oh my God, you're so, in the closet. That's exciting. That's yeah. So, but, and then when, and then but, when I mean, your wife gets home, you have dinner at eight o'clock at night? Uh, she's usually eating at work already, but sometimes if she gets home earlier, we'll have dinner. But yeah. um, she's not a good eater. She doesn't eat a lot. She's a weirdo. Um, Mickey, have you met my wife? 
I've, I've spoke to her on the um, FaceTime. I'm not sure. Yeah. I feel like I may have met her backstage briefly, but it was not, you know, I've only been back for a little bit, so. Right. You know. So my wife is really tall and thin. So she, she used to play professional, she was a professional volleyball player oh, wow. um, and played volleyball in Europe for like 20 years or something like that. So she's six one and probably 125 pounds. So, and I always try to tell her, they, you have to eat more, you have to eat. And she was like, uh, I'll just eat chips and hummus. And that would be her dinner, dinner, just chips and fucking hummus. Like, and she enjoys it. That's like a Europe thing, I think. Yeah. yeah. I have yeah. to ask, I need a little bit personal. You mentioned your wife. How does she kind of cope with the whole wrestling thing with your schedule? Does she watch your matches? Does she, you know, was she a wrestling fan before? Tell me about her involvement with, with your illustrious career. Oh, um, she's very involved. She's very supportive. Um, I'll give her a hundred and ten percent credit for that. She's very, very supportive. The thing is, um, once if I'm in my, if I'm in a match, like for instance, she was at the last pay per view, and um, it wasn't a pay per view. What was it? I think it was Turning Point. It was a app special pay per view, and me and Eddie had Eddie Edwards. Eddie Edwards had this crazy match. It was like anything goes, hardcore, whatever. And I usually, when I'm in matches like that, I usually have to give her a heads up, like, hey, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing this. Please don't freak out. It's not real. Right. And I forgot to talk to her to tell her what I was doing in this matches with, with me and Eddie. So it was a spot in this match where Eddie was supposed to do a sunset flip off a ladder and power bomb me onto another ladder. And I forgot to tell her that. And so match is over, whatever. I call her and she's bawling, crying, like, oh, no. oh, and I'm like, what's wrong with you? She was like, you hit your head on the ladder. You know, I hate seeing that stuff. And she's like losing her mind. And I was like, fuck, I forgot to tell her I was doing that. Like, yeah. so yeah, she she's very supportive, but she's one of the very few that still thinks wrestling is real and so still very concerned when I do stupid stuff and I mean, it's my fault because we've been, we've spent many nights in the hospital from being, being right. concussed. And, oh, bless you. Yeah, well, so. With a spot like that, you go, like, even if she did know, I would still be like, yeah. those, that's dangerous. You know, there's dangerous, dangerous stuff that we do all the time. Like the ladder right. spots, you don't know what could go wrong. You don't know. It's, it's risky business either way you go. So I'm sure she's just like, yeah. especially yeah. not being so involved in the business. So not. Right. Terrifying yeah. even being involved in the business. So being the step outside the box, you're just going, oh my God. It's, and this is my husband. I'm going like, oh, please yeah, don't. yeah. You're freaking out. Yeah. 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 Right. I, I, I think you should be call. worried I if she that. isn't worried, you know, like I think yeah, exactly. like, you know, what, the day that she comes and goes, ah, eh, you know, I think that's when you got to oh, worry. That's yeah. so sweet that she calls. Oh, but then it's fake. It's so fake. Like, she's so lying. Lying. I forgot. I forgot one time to tell uh, my ex-husband, um, I had a kiss spot. I'm thinking, it's a kiss spot. It's not a chair shot or anything. I'm like thinking it's no big, come on, dude. These are freaking our brothers that we work with. It's like kind of kissing your brother on the lips inappropriately. Yeah. And so I forgot to tell him, he goes, hey, yeah, I, you didn't, you didn't mention about the kissing spot tonight. And I was like, well, it's a kissing spot. I, I, he goes, well, yeah, I will, when a couple of your buddies call and say, oh my God. Yeah. I just watched the show you're tonight, watching? and I'm like, yeah, for right. you, it's nothing, right? right? It's like, yeah, oh, that's so-and-so. Who cares? Uh, yeah, it's Earl right. Hefner. Jesus Christ. It's, it's right. my Earl Hefner. My, hey, you know what? Hefner. It's my 50th kiss. It's my Earl Hefner's kiss. got some style. You might want to watch out when old Hebby comes yeah, no, around. I, I, feel like, I feel like um, when I first signed with Impact, that was the thing, like, Earl has kissed like almost every girl in the locker room. Like I feel like that. Yeah, I've never cursed, kissed Earl Hebner. Kissed Earl Hebner, like yeah. So oh, I was like, wow, lucky, lucky, lucky guy. Lucky we Earl. loved putting Earl through it. I mean, I loved it. Yeah. It was so much fun. Just you know, because it's Earl. And I love him so much, and he's done so much. But he always has such a great sense of humor. I remember you yeah. guys would do like not just the kiss spot, which again, Earl, roll over spot. Him. We'd hit him with the, the roll over yes, rolling flat. spot. Yeah, you would. Yeah, he, yeah. I'm sure he hated that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Mickey, so, yeah, so. it, it was for, only it was the reason not to bump Val. Val, we didn't want to bump. We're like, let's do the rollover spot. Just roll over <laughs> Earl. That's fine. Mickey, <laughs> can I ask you? Us. Obviously, Nick Nick's an accomplished wrestler, but. For you and certain matches that you've had, it's, it's a great question. I've actually never asked you before, so here we are. 
has Nick ever had like a freak out moment w- when he's watched your matches? Cause you've done some, some pretty insane things. Like, have you ever had any? Uh, I'm certain like that? that he's, yeah, I'm certain that there's been, thi- you know, there's always things, right. Because it's, it, even though it is storyline, especially when it comes to like relationship angles or stuff like that, where it's like a little bit, even though we're in the business and it's like, then it's awkward. Right. Yeah. But uh, I think certain bumps or something where he goes, Oh, that was a little, maybe not try to take things on your neck if you can yeah. avoid that <laughs> you know right. just one of those if you can avoid oh that. i always felt how i always wondered how that was between two workers in a relationship like do they how into it are they when their partner is like do a certain move or i always wondered that like obviously yeah. i've never yeah. dated somebody in wrestling so i wouldn't know like yeah yeah I'm still care like because you're still watching. I mean, even when I'm watching my friends, if I see something that's dangerous, I'm like, oh, I don't. I I'm still the mark when it, I sell at the monitor. I certainly right. sell, Lisa sells the most out of any person I've ever known. Me and Funaki get make fun of <laughs> to this day. We get yeah, we sell big time. We pop on everything. Yeah, even right. on arm drags, arm drags too. And I don't like seeing blood in a match. I I really don't. I'm just I would walk away. It's unnecessary to me. I don't know. It's just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll never get used to that. People are like, you've seen a million times. Like, I'm real weird about blood. And you know me, Lisa and Mickey. I cry. I would be at ringside and I cried all the time. Those horrible, the worst for me were the, um, and Moose, I have to say, I've told you this before and I've seen you in person. It's such a shame that you were not in Impact Wrestling when I was there. But those Ultimate X matches with the, they would do the craziest things. And I would just be like, I'm going to have a heart attack. It was so sickening to watch. And I thought if I watch someone get injured or it was really dangerous and i hated it i i i take it so personally i have a real weird thing with blood and with injuries and i just ugh, i couldn't take it yeah, but i'm talking about that me and me and eddie Edwards, because he's my best friend we have a rule um that no matter what happens to me if reese is not around you cannot call her until i'm hurt because oh. the last time i got hurt during uh me and eddie wrestled um it was me eddie and michael elgin in a three-way and I got a back concussion and it was really bad. Like I was knocked out. And Eddie called Reese and was like, oh, I'm sorry to tell you, Moose got knocked, knocked out. He has a bad concussion. And she instantly started crying. Like, and she called Eddie every 45 minutes for the next 12 hours. And me and Eddie is in the room and she was like, I turned my phone off because I didn't want to talk to anybody. My head was hurting, whatever. And she called Eddie, how's he doing now? Okay, I'll call back in 10 minutes. And 10 minutes later, oh, how's he doing now? Is he okay? Oh my God, I love her. Back. That's and so sweet. It got to the point, it got to the point where Eddie was like, oh my God, Reese is making me lose my fucking mind if she calls me one more fucking time. Like, and I was like, dude, just be like me and turn your phone over. You don't have to worry about it. Like, so after that day, it was like, no matter what happens to me, we could not let her know. I'll just go home and figure it out with her when I get home. So that's a new yes, rule. Yeah. Well, running on a weird note, but with your hookah, with your yeah. hookah. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm having a great time with Yay! you girls and smoking oh. my hookah. Like, I could do, I could do this every day. I want oh, to invite yay. everybody. All right. So, so what are you doing tomorrow? Yeah, we're welcome. <laughs> we're welcome hey. here anytime. You're, whether we're recording or not, you're always welcome here. But I will just remind everybody, it's in the YouTube description, but hard to kill from Impact Wrestling. Yeah. Uh, you guys have to be excited. So what, are you looking forward to? Mickey, Mickey, we're a little worried for you, personally. Okay. With I'm not Picasso. watching, Mickey. I said I'm it. sorry. I love you. I love you, but I'm not going to watch it. Dude. This is not from Virginia, which is not far from Moose. Moose is from D.C., you guys. So we're pretty much... Yeah. Super- same same place i'm worried yeah, too much. Family. can i be honest i, I don't want to worry why 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 lisa why lisa why are you not watching i cannot watch like a i don't like death matches i don't like even though i did like a freaking hardcore street fight i hated those because the risk of injury i'm such a worrier for like i won't like I won't stick up for myself when it comes to my friends. I got your back kind of stuff. I can, I, I'm strong enough to take it, but my friends, I worry so freaking much and just, I'm getting emotional right now because I don't like watching that. Well, oh, and, and you, if, I, if I can get personal, I mean, speaking of- personal, I'm sorry, Deanna, God damn. Deanna, like, look at, <laughs> on a happy note, Val says. On a happy note, Val yeah. says she's worried because honestly, Mickey, like we've talked about this for you know a long time. There may or may not have been a 
poolside Patreon party, by the way, patreon.com slash God TV. We, refer, we referred to Diana as Diana Cuprazo. We're mad at her. We don't like anyone that opposes our friend. But it really has come to this, Mickey, in terms of, you know, it got really personal with you and Diana, and it's led to a freaking Texas death match. How, how? I mean, is that the ultimate answer? Then one of you guys throw a horse poop at the other, or like in your. In the we fight at your... I was in the midst of cleaning the stall, and honestly, I should have hurled the poop at her because that's worked against my sister before. When I was a kid, that absolutely <laughs> worked in a fight against her. That's where the name <laughs> Diana Puparazzo came from, and I stand by it. I'm not sorry about it. That is because right. was... we were fighting in the poop amongst the poop. Yeah. No, it has gotten it's gotten tense. So um, maybe you should you should grab some of that poop and put put it in a bucket and bring it to Dallas so you can get a chance to throw it at her. Did you just come up with a genius idea? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to. I really did. I thought you were going to. Do it. And then and then you can give the bucket to Ross and so he can sell it on eBay. Oh, there you go. Great idea. <laughs> he'll attach it to on any trading card you guys have available. Shirts. Yeah. It's gonna be her head coming out of the muck bucket like that. Right. Tried to drown me in a bucket. I'll try right. to drown a bucket of poop. Yeah. She is a bucket let, of let me poop. tell you. Let's call Scott right now, actually. Yeah. I'll tell you guys, um, this is a guy named Ross Foreman. He's our PR guy. Great guy. We know him. We know him. We know uh, Ross. Okay. We know him. Sometimes he gets a little bit, and I love him to death, but sometimes he gets a little annoying because, like, you'll be going through your match, you're about to get ready for this match, and he'll bring an item, and he'll be like, can you use this in your match? And I was like, Ross, why? So he was like, so I could sell it on eBay. Oh, and the last time was, yeah, so last time me and Eddie had this hardcore match, he brings us a legit mailbox, like a mailbox that has the wood thing on it. He gives it to me. He was like, can you please use this? I'm like, Ross, I'm not hitting somebody with a freaking mailbox that you just bought from Home Depot or whatever. Was it, was it his mailbox? Bought. You can be honest. Was right. it his yeah, actual I, mailbox? I'm not, Probably was like I don't know. I like write it off. He got a new mailbox. Yeah. He can sell it to his own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so so that would be a great idea if you bring a bucket of poop <laughs> just so you could use it and sign it. it, it and the <laughs> I won't bring so the whole <laughs> bucket, but I will maybe perhaps ziplock. Uh, yeah, ziplock. Yeah. Ziplocks. Yeah. I don't have those big ones yeah. that I have to do because Donovan's school requires that he goes, you know, his big bag comes in a, one of those massive silly Ziploc bags. There you go. Right. I could just pack an extra suitcase full of poop and they could go out and get me a muck bucket. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And make you sure, make like sure you give it to Ross. Dallas, Dallas, Texas, Texas, yeah. and I feel like we could find a farm that would bring us. I'm sure. It's I'm Dallas. Sure. <laughs> like, you know what? <laughs> you know, you know who's a muck bucket? That Deanna Puparazzo. That's what she is. Oh, I'm a drink. I'm excited for your match, Moose. I'm excited yeah, for your Moose. match. You guys gonna oh, be thank awesome. you. Yes. And Dallas is gonna thank be great. You. I had so yeah, much fun oh. in Dallas. I honestly, on a real note, like I had so much fun getting to know you, the human being and the man, because I've known you and I feel like we've met and via social media, we all interconnect in wrestling or whatever, but that's the first time right. we ever really got to hang out and hang out right right awesome. same here so much fun i did same here thank you yeah. hopefully we get to do it again at uh another town yeah when we're you're making to... those towns i love it so much well i'm gonna raise a glass to you moose thank you for hanging out with us you were so much yeah. fun i knew you would be so Cheers. much here thanks Cheers. for having me yay to hard to kill best of luck to the both of you guys all the information is in the description to tune in to impact wrestling's hard to kill with these two fabulous superstars. We love you guys so much. Mwah. Thank we you for being you. here. Love Ooh, you guys too. So. Have a great rest of the day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. This is the word. <laughs>